Hey everybody, today we'll be setting up a student iPad. Uh, this iPad is uh, has the student experience and we'll, and we'll see the setup from beginning to end. Um, please note that this video will have a lot of watching paint dry as things happen in the background. We will not be doing much work. So I went ahead and skipped the uh, region and language selection and joined the Wi-Fi. So let's go ahead We'll activate our iPad and we will get the OESD MDM configuration screen. We'll be installing the configuration and that is the setup experience for the student iPads. Now this is a student iPad. This is the default stock screen but once it picks up the student profiles you will see the items disappear. So right now in the background on our management system, I am setting it to be uh, this iPad to be in my class. The reason I do this is it will you will see shortly it will automatically get the applications and the screen layout for my class. So I just did that. And by where I was talking, you noticed that you may have noticed that the screen changed to only these few uh, applications. Everything else that I have disabled, it automatically removes it. So, such as the Apple Store, uh, Mac Store, App Store, iTunes, uh, Photo Booth, things like that. And the screen layout also changed to my classroom. No, remember, I said I was doing it in the background. Some of that change is already happening. Now, and this, at this point in time, I can actually move this iPad to the side and move and start on another iPad for the students. So let's, but, bef but while we were waiting, let me show you the settings screen. Notice that the iCloud account setting is disabled. Uh, the mail is disabled. There's no iMessage, things of that sort for students to muck around. Uh, they can't set a pin code to lock other students out things like that uh, but this is really it the student iPad setup is done uh, now you can see that it's downloading the apps that I need for my class automatically I never set up any iCloud account because this is not required with our MDM system so if you are interested uh, send a ticket to help desk and we will get you sorted out